Well, we want to generate a new level. So we'll go level generate. Okay. So let's implement this. All we want to do is repeat through the nine targets and count how many of them have an icon of 6,000, which means they're still a live target. So repeat with x equals 1 to 9. If the icon of button target ampersand x is 6,000, then add 1 to t count. And we'll just define a local variable called t count. So here, we'll repeat looking through. Do you have an icon? If yes, add 1 to t count. So we'll count how many of them do, in fact, have that icon. And then we'll return that number. OK, so now, here, if target count is 0, i.e. none are showing, level generate. And the next thing we need to check is the game end conditions. If field score is l greater than or equal to 20, we know that the game should end. OK. So firstly, what we want to do is display to the user their results and how, how quickly it took them uh, to break the 20 targets. And so we need to start by creating a new s start variable, which when the game is started, we put the milliseconds into it. So we put the milliseconds into s start. And that basically tracks the exact millisecond when the game started. And when the game ends, what we want to do is answer, tell the user um, how many seconds it took them. And milliseconds is obviously down to a, a very low degree, so we want to round that up to seconds. So we'll start by using the round com command, and we'll do it to, uh, we only want two decimal places. And in here, we need to subtract the start milliseconds from the current milliseconds. So. milliseconds when the game ended, basically, minus s start. So that will give us how many milliseconds in total. To get that into seconds, we simply need to divide that by 1,000. And that will give us uh, 9.15 or 8.26 or whatever it might be. And we'll also include the text string seconds at the end so they can see it makes a bit more sense. 9.25 wouldn't make very much sense, but 9.25 seconds does. And then finally, all we want to do is reset the game. After they've clicked OK, we'll simply reset the game. So that should be us. Let's save it. Go into your development menu and load the mobile plugin. Select our project. And let's start up the simulator. You can see it loads nicely. We'll start the game. Let's go ahead and try and destroy 20 targets. There we go. So it took us 7.9 seconds in this particular case to destroy all 20 targets. And um, there you have a multi-touch iPhone game. Now because of the way the items are generated, it's difficult to show you uh, the multi-touch in action. But if you go ahead and deploy this to your handset, anytime two targets appear, you'll be able to touch um, both of them and they'll disappear.